Hey, what's going on guys? Wingsman here and welcome back to another episode of our survival let's play in our survival let's play world and guys I'm so excited today because recently we hit 700 subscribers and I'm so thankful for that uh, Massive thank you to all of you that just uh, have been uh, supporting my videos lately just by uh, watching leaving like or even commenting down below and also massive thank you to all of you that subscribe to my channel it really means a lot and yeah we hit 700 subscribers so again just massive thank you for that and it really means a lot and we are one step closer to the 1000 so I'm super excited for that also if you guys are still enjoying this series definitely leave a like down below and leave a comment and of course consider subscribing so you're not going to miss any future videos and with all of that out of the way let's get into the day episode so guys i didn't really do much work off camera i just uh, went ahead to find some sheep and kill them uh, to get enough wool to make a bed and that was surprisingly hard because you can see we have the brown sheep over there but of course we can't really mix the uh, wool so uh, if they are different color we pretty much can't make uh, the bed like we used to we need uh, three pieces of the wool of uh, one color so you can see i have uh, some of the black wool and i have four pieces of white wool uh, keep in mind the last uh, time and last episode I only had one uh, white wall so I only managed to find uh, one uh, white sheep so I created uh, the shears and pretty much uh, sheared the sheep and we have enough for us to make uh, the bed so you know what I think I'm just going uh, to make it uh, right now over here so let's just uh, grab ourselves uh, some of uh, the wood and uh, make a bed and there we go we can finally sleep the night over and we don't have to worry about uh, mobs also we are going to kill uh, some of these uh, sheepies and uh, cows over here just to kind of get some more food and then we are going to start exploring and no in previous episode I thought I was going to mine a little bit more but to be honest guys I am kind of tired of uh, mining and there is a lot of the case over here so if I ever need uh, some resources I can probably just go off camera and grab a lot of them but of course when uh, we settle down we're gonna be uh, setting a little mine so we don't have to worry about that and I think we're gonna go explore a little bit in uh, this uh, direction over here and of course as soon as I said there is no white ship around you mister come uh, right over here and make me look uh, dumb but uh, it doesn't really need to make me look dumb but I'm already kinda am so we have the ravine over here and I thought I was going to explore it in today's episode but I'm not really sure if I want to do it uh, because it's kind of dangerous down there and uh, you can see there is a couple different uh, watercolors and that's guy because we pretty much uh, playing in the update aquatic right now and I think this is the full release we got uh, the turtles the turtle legs and every single feature I believe also the drowned mobs and everything like that so I'm super excited about that and we are definitely gonna have uh, to explore that and uh, ma what is that a village over there how did we miss this in first episode I swear I run uh, right to this ravine at least I remember I was uh, checking this ravine and did I seriously not look in that direction? I can't believe he managed to find the village over here. I could have sworn guys we were just over here in the last episode and I probably didn't see it because of uh, the hills or something. But that's definitely worth uh, checking out and I haven't really expect to find the village uh, right now. I kind of want to go a little bit out and uh, pretty much try to find like the ocean or something. But this seems to be a really massive village and this could be a place where we're going to settle down uh, for a little bit. Let's just uh, run over here and yeah this village is uh, definitely massive. So let's just uh, run over here. We're going to claim one of these houses I think or we'll see if we find uh, the nearest uh, ocean and I'm sorry I didn't mean to break your uh, crops. Let's just uh, sleep right over here and we can explore this when it's uh, daytime. I think it would be a little bit easier uh, for us. So let's just uh, break that. Okay, there we go. Grab the bed. Don't fly for me. I don't really want to lose you, especially because I just uh, got it. And wait, is that seriously two villages right next to each other? <laughs> oh my god, I have never seen this. I can't believe there is uh, two villages like uh, right over here and another one uh, right there. Is this like even uh, possible? <laughs> I, uh, this world generation is just absolutely amazing. I'm really love uh, with this uh, seed. So looks like we're gonna be checking two villages in uh, one episode and I'm really excited about that. This one has a church and it doesn't really look like it has a black 
Smith, but maybe we're gonna get lucky with uh, that one over there. And I swear I haven't uh, come over here. I didn't. Uh, this is my first time actually seeing these villages, and I can't believe there is uh, two of them. Let's just uh, uh, come over here and explore this a little bit and see if we can uh, find anything decent. Looks like a lot of these guys are actually uh, farmers. Okay, let's uh, see what are you, buddy. Okay, cartographer. Maybe we can get like a map or something to explore later on. But I'm kind of looking for uh, the white coats and looks like this is just a farmer villager. You can see there is a lot of the brown coats. And I don't really see any more of uh, the white ones. Okay, we have uh, the cleric over here. Let's see, okay, 38, that's not uh, that bad, but uh, 36 is like uh, the best. And right now I'm pretty much doing good on uh, the food, so we're not going to take anything uh, from these guys, because we're gonna be probably uh, spending a couple of the days over here, just to kind of check out uh, the area, get settled down, and get all of the stuff, uh, so we can like explore or something. But uh, looks like there is not a lot of uh, the white coats, and uh, we have another little cave over here, so... We are pretty much set for all of uh, the caves and stuff, and let me just take another look over here. I know there is like, uh, we went past uh, by the little uh, house with uh, the bookshelves, but I'm not really interested in that one. I just kind of want to find a little bit more of uh, the white coats, and uh, this is the one. I'm not really going to touch uh, the books uh, right now, maybe uh, I'm going to come over here once I have like a silk touch. Unless I decide to move out of uh, this place, I'm just going to grab uh, the books, but for now we can uh, just leave them be. Let's see if there is anyone in the church, and are you the cartographer uh, from earlier on? Okay, this guy is the librarian, let's see, Depth Strider 3, okay, that's really amazing. Uh, 13 emeralds and one book for Depth Strider 3, you boy are amazing, let's just uh, kind of, uh, okay, can we like uh, break this? Looks like this is gonna be, okay, come on, please just go inside the building or something, I really want uh, to cover you uh, up. Come on, buddy, just uh, stop moving for a minute, I really want uh, to save you from all of uh, the mobs. Okay, we're just going to leave him a little bit, okay, go in there, come on, you, seriously, why did you have to push them over here? Okay, come on, go inside one house, please, just uh, like uh, go over there, okay, you can do it. Okay, go over here, please, I really want uh, to save you, Depth Strider 3 is like an amazing book. Do you really don't want to cooperate with me? Let's just uh, try to kind of block uh, him down over here, can we like uh, place uh, the block right there? Come on buddy, just uh, move somewhere so I can uh, like close you off or something. Okay, let's uh, do this quickly, okay, come on, don't escape please, okay, another one, come on, come on, come on, no, no, no. Come on, I was so slow with this, I can't believe I uh, called crowd so I couldn't really uh, stop him and come on, I really really want to save you. Okay, come on, can we like uh, build right now? Seriously dude, I really want to keep you. And let's just uh, try this a little bit uh, better, did he go inside uh, the room or something? Did I seriously just uh, lost the guy, is so one over here, let's uh, check uh, and see where he is. Is this you buddy? Let's uh, see, okay that's cartographer and did I seriously just lose my uh, best librarian and the only one I saw to be honest, okay there he is. Is this you? Come on, uh, please be the one, okay it's you. Oh, they probably couldn't get into the church uh, because uh, you can see that it's uh, pretty much, okay see, oh, sorry, sorry I really didn't mean uh, to hit you buddy. Okay, can you like uh, jump up? Come on, go there, you can do it. Do you need a little uh, push buddy, come on, this is seriously uh, becoming a pain, come on, go in the house buddy, seriously, come on, you can do it, okay, can I like uh, dig a call over here so I can like uh, nudge, nudge him in, okay, oh seriously, this guy is going to take a while uh, to get in, you know what, let me just uh, get him in, okay, there we go, we can uh, block uh, the house up, <laughs> there we go, it's just kind of to stop uh, recording and pretty much get him inside over here, but we pretty much uh, manage uh, to get him and let's just uh, see if we can like uh, peek over here to see if uh, we can see him. Okay, there we go, you are safe and sound uh, right there, Depth Strider 3, that's an amazing book and it's definitely going to help us in the update aquatic. And now that was uh, kind of stressful to be honest, I'm going to lie, we're going to check another one of uh, the villagers over here. And hopefully we're going to find another uh, decent villager and... 
I know guys we are not going to do much in this episode, I'm going to check out uh, this chest and maybe I'm going to settle down in one of uh, the houses just to kinda get uh, sorted out and uh, check all of uh, the stuff out, see if uh, there is like any ocean nearby so we can pretty much set a temporary base inside uh, these villagers and uh, we can pretty much uh, live over here for uh, first couple episodes and both of these villagers are really surprisingly uh, big, I didn't really uh, think that uh, having two villages over here are going to be uh, this big uh, like uh, so let's just uh, run over here see if there is any of them uh, trapped looks like they are uh, both uh, brown coats and you can see this uh, pretty much makes like a little uh, bridge across there which is uh, really cute and uh, looks like it's continuing up there and this kind of makes me uh, wonder if there is actually another village uh, right there because you can see the path is actually going across uh, this uh, mountain so we're going to check this out and I really like kinda exploring just uh, the minecart especially now in the update aquatic so we are probably uh, going to do a lot of this uh, on uh, the episodes let's just uh, jump over here and you can see that I'm uh, kinda rusty with the minecart because I have been playing a lot of uh, the other games and I was uh, really waiting for this update to kinda get back into the uh, Minecraft and it looks like, can we jump over here, what's happening and it looks like it's actually going to stop over here and this is surprisingly big for a little village I have no idea why is the path uh, going so uh, much uh, over here it's really far out of, from uh, the village but let's just uh, go and uh, drop uh, down here and check if there is any of uh, the white uh, coats over here and hopefully we're gonna be able to get ourselves another uh, librarian which is going to have a really nice uh, little uh, trade for us and this village looks really nice with a uh, kind of combination of uh, the wood and all of uh, the mushrooms over here I really like uh, this village you can see it uh, kind of goes over there into the forest and uh, you can see there is a lot of the cobblestone because uh, the generation is like that and they have to pretty much uh, raise uh, the buildings and I think that's uh, really cool and it looks like we have a couple of uh, these houses in the ground and let's just uh, check if there is any uh, white coat and why am I only founding uh, the brown coats you guys are all uh, like uh, the Fletchers and stuff yeah that w that's what I thought so is there anyone uh, that fell in the well? <laughs> Looks like uh, not. And let's uh, check this one over here. Why is there every single villager is a uh, brown coat? I didn't really expect this. Let's uh, check uh, this house over here. Okay, looks like nothing over there. Yeah, let's check uh, this one over here. And then we can see if uh, which villagers are uh, better. And I think I'm going to actually settle down in that village because I'm not really sure if the villagers can actually uh, despawn. But I kind of don't really want uh, to take uh, my chances with that and I really want to keep that uh, librarian uh, safe. So it looks like this village is really nice but it's probably only going to be useful for us uh, to get some of uh, the food and nothing uh, much over there. But to be honest, one uh, village is probably gonna be enough for uh, our so food supplies, so we can probably uh, do with that one over there. Nonetheless, this was a great find, and let's just uh, run uh, to the other village, and uh, we can probably uh, settle down a little house or something, and we can work uh, from there. Alright guys, I've been kinda gathering some of the wheat and all of uh, the potatoes and stuff for like past uh, 15 minutes and I thought I'm going to make the goal for this episode to get that uh, Depth Rider book because I really don't want uh, to lose it and don't worry I was pretty much uh, replanting all of this and I know I'm planting the seeds uh, instead of the potatoes for uh, the field but I really want to get as much of the emeralds as possible also, as I said, I want to get the Slick Touch book to pretty much uh, get uh, the books, but I think we're going to break that to pretty much get ourselves uh, that really nice uh, trade over there. And I have to say that this is a lot of the villagers, and I'm not really sure if I ever seen uh, this many villagers in uh, one village, but I'm uh, pretty happy with this, and definitely let me know if you ever seen anything like this, uh, and... Uh, before and this is uh, the same cartographer I believe and looks like we can't really do anything else than I tried him paper So we have all of these uh, brown coats and looks like we have another guy over here that I didn't really see 
Okay, this guy is an, also another librarian, so we might uh, be uh, keeping this guy. And uh, the smite tool is not really the best, but we don't know what uh, is uh, his other trade. So for now, let's uh, just uh, kind of try uh, to push uh, him in here. And of course, they're not going to cooperate. So for this my too, I'm not really going uh, to uh, bother with him, uh, but I, okay, hello chickens. I really want to kind of find all the brown coats and pretty much uh, trade this. And I uh, know a lot of them are brown coats, but I don't really think there is a lot of them that are actually farmers. And this guy is uh, trading uh, 20 uh, wheat for one emerald, and I believe the best is like 18. The potatoes, the best is 15, so we're definitely going uh, to trade that, and this is the best uh, trade that uh, we can get. And already we got, okay, 5, 6, 7, okay, looks like he's going to uh, uh, get out of them, so 15. And we already have 7, so we pretty much need a couple more to go. Let's see, what about you? Okay, you are the fisherman, how about you, buddy? You are uh, the Fletcher. Okay, we need to find uh, some other brown coats. How about you? Another fisherman. What about you, buddy? Okay, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean uh, to hit you. Okay, can you just... Uh, okay, shepherd, we don't really need this one. This guy is working over here. And I just uh, forgot that all of the brown coats uh, kind of act like a farmer. Even though they're not, they're going to spend a lot of the time in uh, farming area. Okay, let's uh, test uh, these guys over here. Okay, what are you, buddy? Another fisherman? Seriously? How many of these guys are over here? Okay, let's uh, check you. Another fisherman? Is there anyone uh, at home over here? Okay, uh, what about you? Okay, another farmer. Another 15. So that's uh, the best trade that we can uh, possibly get. So let's uh, just uh, kind of get all of uh, the emeralds. And do we have any more potatoes? Looks like uh, not. Another 20 wheat. And to be honest, I'm just going to trade it because we only need like uh, three more uh, emeralds. So let's just get one, two, and three. There we go. We have ourselves 13 emeralds in the, the second episode. And that's uh, really amazing. This guy is a cartographer, so might I might uh, stick around this village for another like uh, two episodes or something. Because I kinda excited and I definitely want to check uh, all of the maps that these guys uh, can get us. So. Uh, maybe in the next episode we're gonna be sticking in this village and we're gonna try to find some uh, sugar cane to grow off camera and pretty much trade with these guys to kind of get all of uh, the maps and stuff and I'm really excited about this. Let's just uh, find uh, that little house uh, with the books again and we're going to take like uh, one book or something. Let's just, uh, you know what, let's just uh, get rid of all of them and we can pretty much uh, make them in the bookshelves uh, later on. And if we need, we can probably make a little bit more of them uh, later because it's not like we're going to get enchanting uh, room uh, pretty much set up immediately. But we got ourselves uh, the book and we have the 13 emeralds. So that's pretty much all we need to get ourselves the Depth Strider 3 in this second episode, which is going to be really, really useful. And I think I uh, tried to trade with you and I like uh, when they listen to me. I tried to trade with you like uh, 20 times already and I, I think it's just uh, the same guy. Maybe there is uh, still some more villagers uh, just kind of hiding in uh, the caves. And I have to really say this is just an absurd amount of uh, the villagers. I've never really seen uh, this many of them in uh, one village. But let's just uh, try to locate our little uh, dirt guy over here. Oh, and looks like there is a lot of them just uh, falling in this hole. Okay, another one of uh, the farmers, 18 potatoes, that's not uh, that uh, great. But looks like we got ourselves a bunch of uh, the farmers over here, so we can uh, trade with uh, the uh, with them and get some more emeralds. And oh, sorry, I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, it looks like the best way to trap the villagers is to actually make a little uh, uh, two blocks deep hole, and they're eventually going to walk right in there. And, uh, okay, there is two of these guys, are those both, okay, this is the librarian with the smite too, I'm pretty sure. And you are uh, the same guy uh, from the before, and you really need to stop uh, hitting them accidentally. Let's just uh, go over here and uh, complete our trade, and I think this guy is uh, right over here, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually kind of want to grab uh, some of uh, the blocks over here, because... I really don't want uh, to have uh, to kind of fish for him and just uh, kind of try uh, my best to not uh, let him out because Death Rider 3 is an amazing enchant and maybe he has uh, some more of uh, the good ones. 
So seriously, come on, let's just uh, make a little pillar over here and maybe let's uh, just kind of break uh, the window over here. And seriously, why did you have uh, to run in that corner? Okay, you know what, let's just uh, hope that he's uh, not going to escape and uh, close the top like so. And hello buddy, we meet again and uh, we came over here to just uh, try to do some stuff, so please uh, be nice. Okay, I'm just going to make a day so you're not going to die and seems like I forgot uh, my bed somewhere. So I'll just uh, exchange this uh, trade and we can uh, pretty much go and uh, sleep so you're not going to die. Let's make sure this is the Depth Rider 3 and we're going to get it. And this is just an amazing uh, second episode and I'm super excited for this. Let's just see, looks like he opened a couple more trades and okay, we don't really have anything nice. We can trade uh, some of uh, the books, but he didn't really open any of uh, the other enchants. So pretty much we're gonna need to trade some of the paper, but 31, that's uh, kinda bad I believe, I'm not really sure. Because I never really used to trade uh, with them uh, that much, but I kinda want to locate uh, my bed, because I don't want all of the villagers uh, to die, because of uh, the uh, zombies getting them, and looks like I left at, uh, the bed over here. And seems like all of the wheat and stuff is growing really nicely, so I'm definitely gonna stand and kinda go between uh, the two villages and uh, pretty much gathering as much of the wheat and stuff as possible so I can uh, pretty much tra trade with them and unlock as much of the trades as possible. Of course we're gonna use the wheat and uh, the potatoes to trade uh, with uh, the farmers to get as much emeralds as we can uh, get because uh, some of the librarians might have a really nice uh, in chance and maybe we're gonna need uh, to get them so just uh, kind of trading with them would be a really nice idea but sadly I am kind of running out of this episode and I know we didn't really do much I mean we pretty much found the two villages and uh, we got ourselves the Depth Strider 3 book which is in my opinion uh, really great but I'm going to pick this bed up because I don't want uh, to lose it again and I think that's gonna be it for this episode and again massive thank you for 700 subscribers, it really means the world to me. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to drop a like down below and also subscribe if you're new to my channel, it really does help a lot. Hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching and peace out.